But I get it. I, I think that the the landscape of this has changed so much. Frankly, expanding the playoff, the best argument I can think of for it is the fact that the bowl games, the other bowl games, feel so much less important as a result. Like, I'm old enough to remember. So, so Bubba, here, here's what I would do. So I was thinking about this this morning. If you were to ask me, Greeny, why don't you redesign the college football championship system? We had, sure. we had, this, we had, we had like 100 years of bowl games. Then we had the BCS for a little while. Then we decided we wanted four teams, so now we have the college football playoff, and now they're arguing about it. They can't seem to figure out a way to make it happen, but they're trying to figure out a way to make 12 games or 12 teams work. If you ask me what I would do, I would go back to the old way. I would go back to the original way they did this. I would go back to the traditional bowls. It would bring back the sanctity of conferences. The conferences are all super conferences now at this point anyway. So give me the Big Ten and the Pac-12 playing each other in the Rose Bowl and give me all those tie-ins. Make the bowls matter again. Make that all feel like it feels like and then figure out a way to name a champion afterward. I actually think that was better for the, the greater good than this. How would you determine? Because I'm I'm with you. I'm I'm a big traditionalist guy, and I I would love to see the bowls mean something. Even the lesser bowls. I've always said this. I would just love, even if it was the lesser bowls, that the just the tie-ins just stayed the same. Where pick a bowl, and it was always just even if it's a lesser conference, whatever. You just knew, hey, it's always the MAC versus the Big Ten, whatever. But because every year it's a different team, different team, whatever. But how? So so. The Bulls play out, and it's always the conferences playing. Then, how would you determine the temp- champion? Are you saying there are a couple then of ways to do it? Another CFP after it, or just no. go BCS? No, I would say we're done after the Bulls, like we always were in history. Yeah, and you let a computer decide who was the best team, or you let people vote, or you just—it's just somewhat obvious to everyone. And there were many years where there were split national champions and all the rest of that. And I've looked it up. I've done the research on this, Bubba. Yeah. They had split national championships many, many times over the years. Oh, a and lot of times. no one died from it. I looked that up. Really? No, no one? didn't kill anybody. The fact that we had national split national championships. Not one person? So if you want to make the games matter, then, then, then make the games matter. Then play all these games and have them all matter. Otherwise, just open it up to everybody and make it college basketball. Yeah. But you're never, you're never going to have people, and I'm old enough to remember when we had, like, the Tangerine Bowl. I, look, I'm all for having as many bowls as you want. The whole argument that there are, quote, too many bowls doesn't make any sense to me at all. That's like saying, I don't like what you post on Twitter. Then stop following me. <laughs> if, you, if you're not interested in this bowl game, don't watch it. I don't care if you do or you don't. There are plenty of people who are watching these games, and the kids want to go play. The schools want to go play. Let them play. I don't see why anyone has a problem with how many bowl games there are. But <clears throat> the connection of that the the logical conclusion of that is you also cannot expect all of the players the ones who have nfl careers waiting for them to treat this like it matters more than we're treating it like it matters like it you can't expect someone to jeopardize now again jamison williams tore up his knee last night that could cost him millions of dollars i hope to god not i'm i'm knocking on whatever i can find close here i don't even like saying it out loud because i feel i'm a 54 year old man talking about a 20 year old kid um but one way or another, that co- now there's nothing you can do about that. These guys are going to play for the national championship, but if he does that in a quote unquote lesser bowl, even if that bowl is one of the big ones, I mean, you want to make the Sugar Bowl matter, make it the Sugar Bowl again. Put the SEC champion against whoever they used to. I don't even remember anymore, and 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 put those teams in there and let them play, and then we'll figure it all out afterwards. But the bowls absolutely could matter again, and then everyone would play in them, and it would be great. And I, I, I think that you, we have sacrificed the many for the good of the very, very, very few. So I don't think that the system right now is ideal at all. And there are ways to go about it that I think will get better. The other thing I wanted to say very quickly about this, and then I'll get back to a bunch of NFL stuff, is I think Harbaugh is going. And here's the primary reason why. I, I, if you know me, you know I know Jim, but it's not. I have not talked to him about this. I'm not. I'm not reporting this. I've not spoken to people close to him. But here's what I will say. This has been out there too long not to be true. He would have shut this down. <laughs> like, if he wasn't seriously considering going to the NFL, I have to believe he would have shut down the conversation. Right? Because recruiting Nuno is the lifeblood of all this stuff, and it cannot help recruiting. Right now, Ryan Day and all the other coaches, who's the coach of Michigan State? Um, 
uh, his name just jumped out of my head. Mel uh, Tucker. Uh, Mel Tucker and all the other guys are walking into the houses of all these kids' parents and saying, you know Jim Harbaugh's leaving. You know he's leaving. He's unquestionably leaving. And that's just the way that business works. So if he definitively wasn't going, I think he, it's been out there too long for him not to have shut it down. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.